So it's a little overcast this morning. It's not too cold, it's probably about 45, 50 degrees. Here's one of our campmates. That's Bob. And of course, uh, our guys and porters are up getting ready. That's our breakfast tent. We'll have breakfast here in a little bit. Okay, back in a bit. First, let me tell you something. Uh, we have some time over here in the Inca Trail. If we have this nice time that I hope that will be the best. It's because we have to tell them thank you and we have to just tell you thank you. Too. Without hikers and without porters, I think that we don't have any hikers. Okay? So things to do, things to visit Peru in one way. So this is looking at the moment where I'm going to introduce our team. Okay, we have 12 persons together over here already. All of them are potters, but basically they are farmers. They are coming from one community that is close to the Silk Valley. Just a minute, those on the. You too? All of them are coming from just one community that they name is Chacapay which is like four hours hiking from Oyente Tambo. It's really important and we have to talk about the cook. You can kill me if you, maybe if you don't like something about the hike, but this is the best. He's the best. He's the most important, our cook, okay? And actually I'm really glad to work with him. His name is Juan, Juan Mendoza. It's because he's working here more than 25 years. Wow. So he has a lot of... So basically, this is the kilometer 82, Piscacucho. Mm -hmm. This was the 82. So we are exactly, more or less, close, close to Wilcaracay. Right over here, close to Wilcaracay, is the same place where we had our camp, Alaska. This is the last village that we are going to find, Guayabamba. And we have to take the way up, a little bit up, you can see, until this area, which is Yuyu Chapamba. This is going to be our second campsite. It's not really long, look at it. Right. It's not really long, but it's steep. It's not a funny. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but look at, now look at it for tomorrow. We have to climb until the, our highest point, that is the Dead Woman Pass, all the way up, and then we have the way down. Over here we have a valley that the name is Pacaymayu. Then we have to take the way up again, and we can get the second pass, Runkurakai. After that, we have to take the way down, and then we will get up. And this is going to be our third camp, Puyu Patamarca. So tomorrow is the longest day. What is this? Animal Ah, yeah. That's a bear. Here we have, exactly. It's like a bear. It is. No, it's a bear. You know, we have over here at the species, like you have the black bears, or maybe brown bears. Over here we have the spectacle bear. This is a bird with some white lines around your eyes, with some white lines in your faces, a little bit of the chest, exactly. They are not aggressive, but it's rare again. All the wildlife we have over here is in danger. Okay, the farmers were hunting too much then. So maybe we are going to have some chance, maybe. But it's really Oh no, they left me behind! What is this? <laughs> okay, watch out! <laughs> the hillside. Thank you. 
trying to cover more space with the, all their bodies because they know that this will be the only place for grazing for the, maybe the next week or maybe a couple of weeks. So they are protecting the much possible that they can with their bodies. And they have enough space for grazing. Mm -hmm. And the horses, they don't have. So they have to take the way down until the middle of the palace. Here comes the tower. We're resting, they're walking. Hola. Uh -huh. uh -huh. In this case, we have very big fights, a kind of wars against towns. Hundreds against hundreds of persons. Trying to, just trying to win this festival because the winner will be the one that is going to go get the wool of our vicuñas or alpacas. Hmm. You know, remember that the vicuñas and alpacas basically in the Andes are in the way of life. Mm -hmm. So the only way to get the wool, which is a lot of money, you know, is working in a team. Mm -hmm. But they don't want to, you know, get a little bit of the money. They want to get everything. So they have very big fights. Every year we have some people dying mm -hmm. because they are throwing stones, mm -hmm. like kind of very big moving pieces of, I don't know, like bats of baseball, crazy things, they are like primitive, but this is our... Let's make a backpack. Mm -hmm. Stomach's dull. Well, well there's no need to push my block. <laughs> well, thank you very much. There's a grocery store. Chicha's about half full, that's the red flag there. <laughs> <laughs> 